did you miss me? So, in the last vlog, I asked you what you wanted. Uh, what you wanted to see, what you wanted me to talk about, and I'm going to try and throw that info in here with trying to talk about what I've been doing at the same time. Might be a little out of whack, and a little out of weird, and a little weird, but... I don't care, because this one's for you. Let's do it. I get so many nutrition questions. Nutrition's hard because there's so many different avenues to go down, so I will just pick away at it. That's what I decided, so here is what I eat for breakfast just about every morning. One half cup of oatmeal. Three eggs. I put two spoonfuls of peanut butter, a handful of berries, maybe a handful and a half. And I mix it all together and I eat it. And it sounds gross. So it looks like puke and vomit, but tastes really good and has all the nutrients and things you need to get rolling every morning. And you need to eat breakfast every morning because breakfast is the most important meal because you just laid in bed for like seven hours not eating or drinking anything. Try it. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Yeah, just. All right, folks. You can't imagine I'm gonna like it, but. Tastes kind of like a granola bar. Exactly. <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, God. It looks gross. <laughs> Tastes great. The day before I lost my GoPro, I had a vault sesh with Steve and Caroline White. I felt absolutely terrible. Everything hurts, shoulders, back, I feel tired and unmotivated, and I got done with my warm-up, and I felt like I just did a workout. I'll talk more about this later. But, their kids showed up. I asked Henry to film my practice for me, and this is the footage I got. Ha! Okay, I'm building a fort. It's me. Woohoo! Here we are. So. Here's the fun part. Are you ready for go to a blast? Here it goes. Woo! I bet you're gonna love this. Woo! Look at that fun, guys. That week, I also got in two weight room sessions. Everything has been fast and powerful and explosive. And again, I don't feel very fast, powerful, and explosive, but I tried. And I tried to just get through the week and see what happened. Again, I'll talk more about this later. Nothing super heavy anymore. Fast and explosive. I'm quick. Very quick. All right, and then I got this question from Brian Riggs and the KMR Athletics crew. Brian asked me to talk about stretching because his kids don't think it's that important and uh, I don't ever do it. The truth is, I do a, sh a whole bunch of stretching. <laughs> I almost swore there. For all those fast and explosive movements, lifting, running, sprinting, you're making everything tight and explosive. If everything's too tight, you walk around like Frankenstein, you can't move. And I'm sure you guys see a lot of those people in the weight room who just lift all the time and they can't bend over and pick tie their shoes even. But then you see the people who do yoga all the time. And they're just really slow and like wiggly. You need balance. Balance is the key to everything, life, training, whatever. Balance. Here is my full warm up on a recovery day. Here we go. Another kid wanted me to talk about my recovery days and some of the circuits I do. So I'll, I'll just show you like one med ball circuit I do and my cool down. You can make your own really. Uh, I have a ton of them. Because I just get bored. <laughs> so I made a bunch of them. But all you need to do is get 10 to 12 exercises, do 10 to 15 reps of each, and then rest 15 to 30 seconds between them all. And it should last between 8 and 12 minutes. And if it's any shorter than that, you don't really get the response you're looking for and if it's any longer you're working cardiovascular stuff and that's not good either because we are powerful athletes med ball here we go boom legs and hips feel like crap so we're just gonna do the med ball circuit twice as a recovery connective tissue work and an hour stretch see how that feels all right here we go There's different circuits you can do to promote different things. Like there's bodybuilding circuits, recovery circuits, med ball circuits, activation circuits, um, all sorts of stuff. Core circuits, just... The possibilities are endless. You just want to do a circuit that's going to create the adaptation that you want. If you're just doing a circuit, do a circuit. It doesn't make any sense. 
why would you just do extra stuff if you don't know what it's doing or why? And like I said, it was uh, my rest week last week. Uh, but I felt so crappy. Took Monday and Tuesday off and vaulted on Wednesday. And then the first 10 jumps felt awesome. Except the first 10 jumps that I did, I vaulted at Hastings High School. And I bottomed out because they're pits. They got them my sophomore year. So not to age myself, but they're super old. And after that... I think, like, I was like, yeah, this is going great. Blech. Everything just went to crap. Because my body hurts. I don't know why. It was an okay day. I mean, some of the things were working. Like I said, those first 10 jumps were really good. I was just working on, you know, hitting the takeoff, squeezing my hands as hard as I can, and keeping my hips back as long as I can. And it worked a couple times. So, again, I'm pumped it worked for feeling so crappy. <laughs> Uh, I'm bad at feeling crappy. Squish. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Huh? So I seem to always get to the point. I'm not sure if I'm overtraining, and I'm not sure if I'm undertraining. So what do I do? Like, I don't know what direction to go. I know if I'm overtraining, I need to take time off and rest and do some recovery type of things. And I know if I'm undertraining, I need to do more. And I always just assume I'm undertraining. I talked to Caroline. Why don't you just be like 99%? of the American population and just do nothing for two days. Absolutely nothing. So my idea of nothing is to create Team Hoot stuff. We got a lot of shirts and merchandise made and Jordan Scott is helping me out and we're teaming up and he created this pretty awesome Team Hoot website. There's just a little more teasers of what could be happening soon. Coover asked me to go down to Earl Bell's and do a meet down there. I don't feel good at all. I don't think I can travel anymore. And I kind of told them like how I was feeling. Dude, most good coaches would like have you take four days completely off of nothing because those aren't good symptoms. And so that's what I did. I took two more days off and I will let you know how I feel tomorrow. So we'll see if it worked or not. I'm not sure yet. I'm optimistic though. So, Sean, what meets do you have coming up? I would really like to know. Um, Thursday, I have Vault in the Ville at Kentucky. We're jumping at an outdoor mall. Pretty sweet. So come check that out. So, like always, please subscribe, share, like, comment, and do all that other fun stuff that I always tell you to do. I do cool stuff on Instagram sometimes. Kinda, I don't know if you think it's cool, but sometimes I think it's cool. What else do I want to share with you? Boom. Goodbye. Yeah, like right now. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, it's a yeah. <laughs> I can bleep it out, man. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna it. keep saying uh, bad words. <laughs> Every time you turn on, I'm just gonna go <laughs> So you can't use anything. We went downstairs. We went to try and find our poles. We're like, where did the big poles come? The oversized bag. Like, oh, uh, we just asked where the pole ball poles come. And <laughs> <laughs> she goes, they're all gonna come through that hole right over there. They come from the hole. 